Brian Leifinkel with In Alliance Movement, and we are going to take you through an intermediate mat workout today. First, we're going to go ahead and do two little things. Ladies, please take your fingers underneath the block. If you have a, a yoga block or a yoga strap, it's great for this little theme that we're doing today. You're going to go ahead and narrow your elbows like butterfly wings that come together, just as wide as your shoulders. And then without having to pick your head up, just look down into your belly, letting your chin nod. And then pick your underarms up straight up, triceps up to the ceiling, to pick up your shoulders and pick your chest up with it. And take an inhale through your nose. And exhale, let your belly fall to the mat. And as you do, we'll get into our next three in a moment. As you're here, notice that your shoulder blades don't have to be squozen together. They're actually coming off your back, away from your spine into the front of your chest wall. Take one more breath, pressing through both of your feet, prepping yourself for this intermediate mat today. Lift those underarms up higher, another inch, and lower all the way down. Now, leaving the block there, just take your arms behind your sits bones, maybe at your hamstrings, and only float your chin to your throat. Your head is already down. Bend your elbows wide to roll your shoulders and then roll your chest upward so that your low ribs are coming down the mat. Adjusting your feet is great. Take the yoga strap and check it. Check it to the right and the left and notice, does it move? And if it does, pull your belly in more. Inhaling there, giving more space and then check it again. So what you're doing is you're checking this so that when we go into a more advanced work, the idea is that you're trying to keep your back body lit up and your front body pulling into that back body to lengthen as well as widen. Lower your heads for a second, go into a neutral spine, neutral hips, and then go ahead and show how you can move this because it's okay to have space underneath your spine at your waist there. Here we go, pull one knee into your chest and then the other. Reaching your arms along the mat, we're gonna go right into hundreds. Your head is already halfway up, chin to your throat, reach your arms along the mat. Go to your level for hundreds as we do 10 sets. Inhaling and exhaling, pretending that I'm actually pulling that yoga strap one direction. You want to be there in this. When you start to feel any unnecessary neck tension, go ahead and tune into your belly more. Pulling the ball of a, um, the, if you thought of the sort of ball breath, like pulling a ball into your soft tissue to deepen your core and widen the back body. If you need a break, you just have to come down a few inches to lay back onto the block and then come right back up into it. As you're here, you want to think of pulling your heels down into something like my hands to lift the bottom of your pelvis just ever so slightly, giving you more pelvic curl. We're going to say two more here. They're doing a great job. Keep reaching your fingers very, very long. Great. And then pull your knees all the way in and reach your legs along the ground. Take that block on your head and bring it up to the ceiling. I want you to squeeze it at your palms, reaching your fingers up. So we'll go ahead and flip it so that the, the narrower part is along your palms. Squeeze with your pinkies and rotate your triceps in and go ahead and shove your shoulders up off the mat and then just let them drop back down. When you pick your head up through this little frame here, we go into roll up. You could point or flex your feet and just start to roll thinking about letting those shoulder blades come off of the back of your spine so that you get this roundedness, keep your head down, keep thinking of a two foot ceiling as you come forward stretching, and then exhale, rolling back down. Now it'd be great if you could keep that 90 degree angle underneath your underarms. So go ahead and play around with that. You can move your arms up and then going back into it, keeping your arms and lengthening, Push your feet into something there. Good, and then rolling back down as if I'm holding your arms, and you can just roll down. We're gonna take the next three a little quicker. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale it back. Inhale, reach your arms like you're reaching towards somebody, especially from the pinky side. Great, and then lengthening all the way back down, digging your heels. Firing your hamstrings open your front of your hips. And last one, squeezing the top of your leg bones together, giving you a deeper sense of your core and rolling all the way down. Keep holding the block, bend your right knee into your chest. I want a 90 degree angle with that shin and place the block on top of your shin. You're gonna bend your elbows very wide, so you'll go on the flatter, wider part. Keep holding exactly like you were, pressing your hands into your shins 
And then as you're holding that there, push the shin down into your, or push the shin up into the block and block down into your shin. As if you're trying to straighten your leg, but your arms are pressing it the other way. Start to notice if you feel the back of your hip here. Slide your left leg up to the ceiling for a different kind of single leg circle. Keyhole your leg, so if this were a key, your heel, turn the key in the lock above so that your toes are facing out and open your leg. Stabilizing your other leg with that hip, you bring it back up. Open it around and exhale it back up. Just one more like that and bring it to the top. Now, bend your elbows and pick your chin up to your throat. Widen your elbows, picking up your shoulders and start lowering this leg a little further like we're in single leg stretch. Switch your legs once. Switch them, yes. As you're there, push that chin in, lower your head, and we do the other side. Push the shin and the block into each other, and then float your right leg up to the ceiling. Turn the leg out ever so slightly, and open the leg, and circle around, and back up, and open, and back up. One more, and then we'll do the reverse. The purpose as you do the reverse is thinking about the block and the shin oppositionally pressing against each other to find some sort of grounding through the standing leg. Even though your left leg is bent, bring this leg up, go ahead and float your head and shoulders up, lowering this leg a little bit more, switch your legs. Great, bring the block up to the ceiling and lower both legs very carefully down to the floor. You're gonna do single leg circle with a twist. With the block held in your hands, let's go again to that, yeah, turn yours right there, perfect. Flex your feet and lift your right leg up to the ceiling, turn it up. We're gonna go across our body, twist your low spine so your hip comes up, down and around and exhale it up. Just one more. Down and around and exhale it up and reverse it. Hips stay on until you go across and then squeeze it out. One more and squeeze it out. Leave that foot there, bring the other bottom leg up to it and switch. As your arms are here, keep reaching the block and we go across our body and up. And we go across our body and up, reverse it. Open the leg and then fire that foot up, really reaching it, last one, and good. Bend that knee, take the block onto the top of that shin, bring the other shin up to it, pushing the shin and the, the blocks together. Bend your elbows and start rolling lengthwise until you come up to seated. And then go into rolling like a ball. Just widen your knees, keep the block there, Keep squeezing your heels towards your sits bones and drop your head into your belly, rounding yourself like a ball. Good, keep the elbows wide so the traps aren't getting overused, finding more shrug up underneath the underarms. And last one with that deep belly core, go ahead and place your feet flat down, beautiful. Lift up tall for a moment, reach the block forward and then roll down through your spine, reaching the block, reaching the block, reaching the block. Take that block behind your head and rest for a moment. Go ahead, butterfly wings I always call as you widen your elbows and narrow them. Have your fingertips underneath the block and we pick up our upper body with those narrow elbows and pick up your chin to your throat and then the underarms come straight up. Bend your right knee in and straighten your left leg along the floor. Lift that left leg up, just the left leg comes up for single leg stretch without our arms. So we'll think of it more as we're here, as we're in that upper curl, and we go. We switch and pull the legs apart, and switch and pull the legs apart. Switch, pull and switch, pull. Beautiful, in, hail and exhale. Let's go quicker, higher legs today, and exhale. Don't forget the pull, lift those arms up, not like we're propping there at all. Last one, pull both knees into your chest and squeeze elbows to knees. Now, your arms with the block, keep holding them. Legs away, hold the block, bring them up to your ears. The block and the ears up higher and then put the block back behind your head and squeeze. This time a little different. Reach the block behind your ears. Now put the block on your shins and bend your elbows and squeeze. And again, bring the block behind your ears and stretch your legs and then squeeze it all the way back in. Two more, arms and legs away, and then arms and legs together, and last one, and rest your head. Bring your legs up to the ceiling. Bring the block up to the ceiling too. As you're here, you can feel, go ahead and flip your blocks, yeah. You're gonna reach your arms, float your head up, chin to your throat, and reach your underarms. Now move your arms down towards your shins. 
You can move them as far down towards your shins as you'd like. Bend your knees if you need to for scissors. Bring your right shin towards the block. Push the shin and the block into each other. So the more you curl up and the more you bend your knee, yeah. And we switch, now pull it into the block. Switch, pull, block, in. Hail, lift your arms up higher so it comes away from your neck and more into the upper core. Hold the shin towards the block by moving your arms away from you towards your legs, yeah. Last one, and legs up to the ceiling and bend them. Bring the block underneath your head for lower lift in a moment. You'll flip that block, your fingers go underneath, and bend your knees in and just rock knees side to side. Massaging your sacrum, and then flex your feet here. Flex your feet and find center. And as you're here, take a huge inhale, leaving your head. And on the exhale, pull your belly in and dig your heels down into an imaginary chair. Try and lift the bottom of your pelvis up in space. Just enough. Now use that to straighten your legs up. And take an inhale and then exhale, lift those underarms, taking your shoulders off the mat. Keep lifting your elbows up higher and look right into your belly. To lower your legs, lift your elbows and lower the legs, inhaling. Think of lifting your shins to come back up. Great. You're doing awesome. Inhale again. Shins come back up. Three more. Good, firing up the back of the legs. So think of a lift to lower. And up, and last one. When those legs come up, just widen your elbows and right knee comes in, left elbow goes to it. Twist your spine and other way. Could you widen your elbows and turn your spine rather than your elbows moving in space forward and back? Great, keep pulling the knee in more so it keeps rounding. And now think about that yoga strap. If I came around and pulled on it, where could you actually, you'd be sad about that, you could actually pull your knee in more and pull both knees in and rest. Excellent. Take the block up, roll yourself up for spine stretch. Your legs are gonna go straight, flex into the outside of the mat. As they're open in this small straddle position, bring the block up overhead. That works for your shoulders. If not, just bring it right out to the armpit position where it's right at a 90 degree. Inhale, lift up tall. Exhale, head first and round forward as if someone's pulling you back in space as you go more forward with your chest until you're out of breath. When you're out of breath, you go ahead and roll up a wall or like I have my leg behind here, you feel this length and then you exhale and go again as the block keeps lifting as you go. Beautiful. Think of yourself laying down with this yoga strap and how that would be if you were to move it one side to the other. Do two more like this and exhale. Good. Keep reaching those arms forward, reaching them up. Dig your heels and exhale head first and then reach forward. Bend your knees if you need to for a beautiful stretch and then take the block down to the floor. Drag your legs in and squeeze the block with your heels. So adjust it as needed. Drag your heels in and hold on to the top of your ankles for open leg rocker. Open leg rocker can be in a balance. So your legs are going to feel the squeeze of the inner thighs and then your shins and palms are gonna have a relationship as you straighten the legs up and pull your belly back, holding the top of your shins. If this does not work for you, please hold the back of your legs at your hamstrings. Great, as you're here, pull your belly away more, lift your chest up more and nobody put their head down today. Keep it off the mat. As you lift underneath, like I'm pulling this mat away from you, and you come up to your balance, gorgeous. And again, inhale. Keep your head off the mat, great. Again, inhale, lift your tush, and up, lift your chest, you got it, one more. Leave your legs here, preparing for a teaser. Walk your hands all the way down until your spine is on the mat. Spine is on the mat. And then right here, I actually want you to squeeze this block still. And as you're here, go ahead and tick tock. You're gonna bring your, arm, your legs to the right and bring it back, squeezing the block where you can. So we can adjust them. I'll we'll try and come around. Good. One more each way. Just trying to find where your edges are. Good, bend your knees here. Take the block away for a moment. Go ahead and go into a nice little curl and check your uh, yoga strap. So curl on up, find where you need to be. If it's at your waist, 
and curl it up and do it in check. Pull it right, pull it left. Yes, we wanna find this as we get into a deeper sense of corkscrew. Now, put your feet back down, lift your hips up, and drag the, the um, yoga strap actually down towards the bottom of your hips. So as we're here, when it's at the bottom of your hips, hold on to it and pull it apart, abducting your arms. So try and start with your arms right by your side, straighten your arms there, and then pull the tautness of the strap apart. By doing this, you're bringing your shoulder blades on your back and creating sort of a, a home or a base for us to go into any inversion. Hips will be down, keep pulling that apart, widening your chest and float your right knee in. And then float your left knee in. We're gonna try a little rollover first. Legs go up to the ceiling, and if you thought about balancing a block on the bottom of your feet, you would lift that block and roll over, pulling apart that there, the um, yoga strap, and then roll back down with those feet flexed, lifting your hamstrings where you can. Great, try that one more time. And you go, over pressing the flex of the feet, lift your hamstrings and roll back down. Now, all you're gonna do is bring your legs to the right, twisting the low spine, go as low as you can handle, and down and around, other side, back to center if you'd like, you would roll over and back down. We go to the left, inhale. No need to have to roll up and over, but challenging yourself, even if it's a little, just lift and back down. And again, over, right. You could even go from the rollover into a twist. So we see lots of great different versions of a great exercise trying to lift hamstrings higher. And when we say great exercise, it's really very challenging. And then roll yourself back up. Let go of that um, yoga strap and just roll up for soft. You're gonna roll up, your legs go back in that straddle, flex your feet, bring your arms out to the side. You're gonna to twist to the right. You're gonna drop your back arm and push the back palm up to the ceiling and curl your head. Keep rolling your spine forward, sitting on both sit bones and press your back palm up. And then roll back up, untwist, and turn the other way. Inhale, drop the head, press the back palm up, giving you more length and more width and pressing down through both heels and sit bones. We'll go quicker. Inhale to the right and exhale it down. Excellent, and inhale it up and pull your belly back and exhale everything you have like someone's pulling your arms apart. And last set, inhale tall and exhale and go. Last one and we're getting ready for swan. Beautiful, unfurl, legs together, flip over on your belly with your heads facing this direction. Clap, bring your hands into this very wide palm position. And think about if you were pulling that yoga strap apart with your palms wide. I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together before anything and think of putting your hands, if your hands were under your belly, you would lift your belly off of the floor. Toenails down as you look towards the baseboards. Keep your shoulder blades frozen together as you keep following up the baseboards, up this mirror here. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, opening your spine. Now drag the heel of your hand energetically backwards in space to lengthen your spine back down. Gorgeous, drop your head, two more like that into swan leg. This one will just do a nice easy, lifting up the front hip bones, pulling the heel of your hand back, lengthening, good. One more time, squeeze the shoulder blades together by bringing elbows together, really spread the mat with your hands. Now staying here. Looking up, all you're gonna do is release your hands, keep your head up, and release them, and then hamstrings up, and inhale it, and hamstrings up, and inhale, and exhale, one more, and sit back in the child's pose. Wide and wide in the knees. We're gonna do a Blossom's Cat. We're going to press down with our shins, lift our low pelvis up, hamstrings through it, lift your low belly, try and open the crease in the front of the hips, that's beautiful. Push down in your hands, lift your belly, and come right back. Great, everybody. Opening all of this up, keep your head down. One more like that. Right before we go into single and double leg stretch. Kick, really. <laughs> single and double leg kick. And lift all the way up. Let the yoga strap come with you as you lay on your belly and place it right underneath your belly button. 
And as you're there, I want you to pull it apart. And then I want you to find where you can pull your belly up so it does move. See if you can move that by pressing down with your hip bones, but having a little bit of space. So your feet go down, hip bones up, and belly up so you could move the strap. Right. Now, drag your arms forward along the mat. Make fists and have them face each other. Bring your legs all the way together and look forward. Drag, keeping those shoulders off your back. Drag your elbows towards you, but not under your shoulders. Pull your spine upward just so that your low ribs are on. So make sure your elbows are in front of that. Keep pulling that belly up as if you could just drag this little yoga strap off. And then lift your right leg up. And bend, two and kick, two and in. Hail and X. Hail, great. Try and lift your kneecap off. Really contracting your hamstring there. Good, in, hail and X. Hail, last one. Good, and right cheek on the mat. Go ahead and hold on to one wrist and bring it way up on your back. So, these ladies are okay with their shoulder girdle. If you're not feeling that way, there's other ways to do this where you don't need your hands here. But for right now, assuming that we're going for that squeeze of the shoulder blades together, you're going to take a huge inhale on the mat, thinking of keeping your belly to let this yoga strap be, um, be able to move. You're gonna inhale where you are, and on the exhale, kick your bum three times. Kick, kick, kick. Toenails down, shoulders squeeze, and then look forward as you pull your spine forward as your arms pull back. Bend your elbows, turn your other cheek, and kick. Two, three. Now inhale, shoulders together. Reach your chest forward, opening, and turn. You can lift your legs up, but is it by pushing down your pelvis? See if you could still think of trying to move that yoga strap. Last one, and reach, and great. Stay there, tuck your toes so the balls of the feet are down. Take your hands right in that swan position. As you're here, I want you to lift your kneecaps up. Press down in your arms, but squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then try and lift your hip bones off. Good, now try and lift your chest up. Just grazing the floor, and rest. Bend your knees wide. Curl yourself back into child's pose. And reaching your feet this way, take the strap with you and place it underneath your feet. Place it at the arches of your feet and widen your legs, even letting it be bent for now. Lift up tall and you're gonna let the strap give as you go back. You're gonna hinge back, not losing your heels. You're gonna hinge back until you can hinge no more and then you curl through the lowest part of your spine, middle, and come down. Now on the way up, please bend your elbows to come nose towards your pubic bone. Leading with your head, pull belly back, bend your elbows, and curl. That's one version. Now let go of the strap. Take your hands behind your head and press your head into your hands and lift up tall. Elbows are not so wide and so narrow, but rather neutral. Lift your hands, lift your shoulders, lengthen down, Keep going when you can no longer keep your legs there. Pull a zipper and lengthen your spine. Great. You could keep your hands here or take them on the sides of your legs and you roll up for one more time before shoulder bridge with kicks. And lift up tall. And lengthen all the way down. Excellent. As you're here, you're gonna go ahead and hold on to your um, yoga blocks. You're going to place it underneath your hips when your knees are bent. So you bend your knees hip width apart. Put it under your hips and notice where you are there when it's a short leg. Now go ahead and lift your hips from the bottom of it and try and go a little higher with the yoga strap. So go the medium way. Or you can go right to the top way which is where we're going towards. Which is perfect. As you're here, we have this option. I'm going to come around as you guys are there and you're gonna pull your yoga strap apart. You're gonna pull it apart, and as you're there with the support of this lovely yoga block, narrow your legs so that they're hip width apart. Feel your big toe joints, and just first try and slide your right heel along the floor. Did it change your hip bones as you pull the yoga strap apart? Great, and then drag it back in. It doesn't have to straighten all the way. 
Pull the strap apart and go left leg. Great, and back in. If it feels okay in your low back, we'll go into the kicks. If not, you could stay here, you could come out of this and just do a normal shoulder bridge. Slide your right leg along the mat. Now, lift your chest, pull your arms apart, and lift your leg up, and exhale, kick it down. Two more, up, and down, one more, and drag that foot in. Center yourself, toes, legs, slide the left leg along the floor, and we go. Inhale it up, and exhale it down. Inhale it up, and exhale it down. One more, and down. Take your arms away from that yoga strap, take the block away, and roll down very slowly, keep the block close, and we go into spine uh, twist. Roll yourself up slowly. As you come up, flex your feet. You wanna sit right on your sits bones, so legs together. Today, we're gonna bring our arms behind our head to avoid this movement and try and get into spinal rotation. So lift up tall, inhale here, exhale to the right. Exhale and then squeeze your belly out. Inhale tall, head back, exhale left. Squeeze, lovely. Inhale tall, feel like someone's twisting and spiraling you upward. And exhale tall, great. Last one, you guys look wonderful. Finish it off to the left and there and come center. Reach your arms forward, really reach them. And then I guess we're almost off the mat, so scooch forward so that your feet as you roll down will be over your head and your hips right in the center of your mat. I want you to keep your strap with you. So as you roll down to the floor, go ahead, and then you'll put the block under your hips the short way, but long. So it would look something like this. So go ahead and roll down, bend your knees, lift your hips up, and then once you're there, you want just your sit bones off. You would take that, um, that nice little strap. And the idea of this is that abduction to bring the shoulder blades together and widen your nice, uh, collarbones and shoulder girdle. Bend one knee up and then the other, bring both legs up to the ceiling. This is getting towards jackknife, right? Pulling your arms apart, take an inhale, try and flex your feet as much as possible. Take an exhale and legs go over, open your hips, reach them up over your head, and then you roll back down slowly, gently, and find that block for some relief. You could bend your knees to go over, pull your arms apart so that your base of your shoulders is helping you. And then open your hips so your hamstrings are firing and coming back down. So we have many different versions of this one too. Jackknife is a very advanced exercise. Good, as you're here trying to find your hamstrings, do this as a roll down too. Beautiful, and rest. Bend your knees and go ahead and let your knees sway right and left. It's massaging your spine and we're gonna do side kicks. So feet come down one at a time, lift your block away, lifting up the hips there, and roll all the way down. Lay on your left side and turn. As you're here, take your hands behind your head and then bring your legs forward in space. Flex your feet there, lift your top leg up. Now, if hands behind your head is too advanced, bring your right hand right to the center, onto the mat, turn the leg out, and we go. Bring it front, pulse and back. Pulse and front, pulse and back, pulse and front, pulse and back. Last one, and back. Bring the leg back down, turn it out, and lift it up, and squeeze it down, and lift up, and squeeze down. One more roll up, turn to the other side so your head is on the opposite side, and we'll just do those two variations today, but there's plenty to choose from. The idea of that strap that's close to your waist as if I came around, I want to be able to move this for this person because if she presses down with her elbow, she's not sitting into one side of her hip. Here we go. Lift the top leg, we go front. Pulse and back. Little external rotation and back. And front and back. Last one and reach it back. Legs together, turn it out and we go side and squeeze down and go up. Squeeze down and go up, and one more, and up, very good, lay on your back for a teaser. Now lay on your back, think of that waist space for the yoga strap, bring your legs up to the ceiling for now. And then go ahead and take the sides of the yoga strap and just bring it up. Just bring your arms way up there, 
Keep pressing it out. Three, keep your arms there and careful of this metal. I want you to get this idea of your, yourself being lifted. So if you pick up your head first, reach your arms forward, and as you pick up your shoulders, your waist can come down. So it's not necessarily that you'll get up. I just want you to get a sense of your back body lighting up here, and then roll back down. Leave the yoga strap. You also have the option of always putting yoga strap on the bottom of your feet. Whatever version of teaser you'd like to do, here you go. Inhale and we go, beautiful. And exhale, lovely, and back down. Teaser's idea is that your eyes are following your feet. You come to eye height and foot height, reaching your arms at some point, and then one more, come up, and then stay up and bend your knees, put your feet down. Lift your arms up behind you for can can. Come back as far as you can and take the strap. Bring it back and pull it apart on the mat. Your fingers can be wide or you can be in more of a fist. Sit back more like you're in your teaser position so your eyes and your feet will be at the same height as you take your knees to the right, to the left, to the right, and you kick off the ground to the right. So we go. Here we go, left and right and left. Both legs kick and again, right and left and right, and then the kick. Stay there this time. We're gonna go down and around, other way and back up. So the key is leaning back farther. You're gonna be farther down towards the mat and wider arms, even farther, you got it. That way now, when we go to this direction, we could go or we can because we're slightly behind our tail. You can bend your knees or you can skip it all together because once again, it's a totally advanced exercise. So can -can, the can-can at the beginning was great. Bend your knees all the way in and lay down all the way. Turn over for swimming and we have swimming and seal to finish. So as you're here, just take the strap, bring it over your head and pull it apart. As you pull it apart, rotate your triceps in and then pick up your eyes and then release the strap. Lift your right arm and your left leg Looking forward, you swim. Think of lengthening your back. Think of pulling your belly as if you had that strap underneath here. Beautiful, the idea would be that I could move that strap side to side. And beautiful, lay all the way down, sit back in the child's pose, flipping and turning this way, sitting onto your sit bones. Hands go inside of your shins and on the top of the shins for a seal. Come to the very front of your mat. Make sure you don't have any obstacles in your way. The very end, if you choose to, you could finish by standing. We go back first. Inhale, pop, pop, pop. Exhale, up, pop, pop, pop. The idea is that your toes are two inches from the floor in each direction. This is a goal. This is not necessarily where we are today, as I've always said in the past. You're clapping to release your hip flexors. This is our last one. We go back. If you'd like to stand up, cross your legs and stand yourself up and squat. And beautiful, lift your arms up and open and we're finished. Thank you so much.